This section is focused on one main objective, determining an expression for the stiffness matrix of an axially loaded bar. This matrix relates the forces applied to the end of the bar with the resulting displacements. Now, along the way to achieving this goal, we'll hit several distinct but related topics. First, I want to make it very clear what we mean when we refer to finite element equations and what we mean when we refer to the direct stiffness method. We'll discuss this in the following lecture. Next, we'll spend a couple of lectures deriving the finite element equations. We're going to use the principle of minimum potential energy to perform this derivation. Once we have the finite element equations, we can use them to construct the stiffness matrix for any structural element. As you know, in this course, we're focused on axially loaded bar elements, but these finite element equations give us the flexibility to tackle all kinds of finite elements. For example, beams, 2D and 3D elements. So understanding them is well worth the effort. Once we've derived the finite element equations, we'll use one of them to build the stiffness matrix of an axially loaded bar. At this point, we've almost achieved our goal. The final task is to work out how we can transform our stiffness matrix from its own local coordinate reference frame to a common global reference frame. This will allow us to combine element stiffness matrices together to form what we call the primary stiffness matrix, which models the whole structure. If all of this sounds a little complicated and unclear now, don't worry, that's to be expected. By the time you've completed this section, you'll clearly understand the origin of the finite element equations and how they're used to calculate element stiffness matrices. This will leave us well placed to tackle some actual analysis problems in the rest of the course.